everybody, welcome back to another edition of the Ecostructure Machine Expert HVAC. I'm your host, Leandro Mada, and in this video, what we're going to see is the language FBD that we have in the software. So let's go to the presentation. So FBD stands for Function Block Diagram, okay? And basically, this FBD is a graphical language, so similar to ladder in a way. Just go from top to left and from left to right and in order then to execute the code we just need to follow the sequence of how the functions or the blocks that are linked together is uh, is going so basically we have input and output variables in the software in the code that we have so basically let me just put the and so in order to work with the this language, what we need is to know that we have a specific toolbar for this, which is this one. Okay, this one over here. And in order to get it, in case you don't have it visible, we just need to go to View, Toolbars, and select the FBD bar. Now, you can see here, we don't have coils or contacts. We just need only the object of a variable and then we can specify if it's going to be an input or an output for our code. If we follow the FBB bar, it's going to be this one. Okay, and once you add it on the code, it will allow you to tell, do you want me, do you want this option to be input or an output? Okay. Then, well, this is what I was going to explain. So, we just need to click on the rank that we're going to work or in this case we call it network in the software so we select the network select the object this one you want with b b for variable okay you can drag and drop okay this this is the symbol and then you have by the system these pop-up windows that indicate if it's going to be input or an output then you just click ok you can see the option with the question mark so if you double click on that one you should be able to see this window and here you have the possibility to change the type from input to output and also select the variable using the three dots over here that we have okay or just manually type the name so that is one thing now i mentioned that this uh, language fpd is for function blocks diagram so which is normal to add blocks in here so if we add blocks if we take a look on the toolbar for the function blocks we can see this icon over here okay these stand for functions so we can drag and drop or just click on over here okay you should be able to see this pop-up windows that basically shows all the functions that you have available to use and then you just select, for example, function blocks or functions or standard functions. And then you can see all the lists over here. Select the one you want, click OK, and then you should be able to add it in your code. Okay, simple as that. Then is that you will need to know which the function block to use. But we're going to cover that later. So now we have the object variables. Um, we have the function block. Now, in order to... Uh, link this what we need to do is to change the mode for insert mode to connection mode you can use the space bar or you can drag um, right click okay and select this connection mode or on the toolbar select this one which is the one that links so you just need to link from here to here and from this to here okay simple as that it's not that difficult so and I mentioned before that in other language we have the rank for the ladder and FPD also, for example, in Machine Expert. And here we call this as network. So in order to add a new rank or a new network, we just right click on the system, on the actual rank that we have, select new network, and then here we have go to the top or to the bottom before and after. Simple as that. Now in case we delete the original and we have the uh, the POU empty, okay, 
uh, we can go to a scheme select network new and then we just any of these ones to add a new rank so let's try to do this on the software add one variable element is input output one constant element and any function in the variables okay so let's let's open the software so in order to add a PUU FPD right click over here add new program FPD so I'm going to put PRG FPD we just need to define the time the, the task that we're going to add it okay and then we have this okay you can see here right click new network and I can add another one otherwise I can delete it and if I delete it there is no right click here so we just need to go scheme network new and then just any of this to add a new one now you can add this here input and output okay and then for example I have let's see what do I have I have this one I pump so you can I pump manually add it here I pump one or you can select the three points here and select here from I pump let's say I pump two and that's it now this is good but I don't use it in that way so for us it's much easier to drag and drop and select what do I want simple as that so drag and drop and it works only also for the local variables and for the target variables also so here I don't know digital input input here but in this particular case uh, this one is an array we just need to define manually the array okay and that's it so this part is very easy so let's delete this so now we just need to add a function we just click over here new block we see this property um, okay here you can search for all of them I'm going to use add and that's it or if you know where these function blocks are you can go for example operators unblocked arithmetic and use the add and drag and drop it okay if you have defined in a function over here on this side you can drag and drop it uh, and if the function requires an instance you can um, drag and drop it and then it will create an instance uh, let's see let's create the instance um, blah blah you can see it creates a function block and the instance here in the same one okay so this is how it works this part now in order to link this you can also add like this put it together you can see it's linked or you can right click connection mode and it just add it and then change okay or what you can do is do with the space and add it and change with the space again now if you need for example to move this um, you can press the shift and then select everything and then you can move it okay otherwise if you try to select without the shift it's not going to work okay there we go now you can resize this part should be able to resize it okay so sometimes we need to make a comparison with a constant value so you have the k for constant put it in there double click and you have the possibility to select the type in this case I'm going to use 10 and that's it and let's see now what do we have in case I forget about it, something so input output constant any function link the variables in the connection mode yes so it's in the same round this is missing use the drag and drop feature so add the same logic in the same round because I want to show this so basically 
if we uh, let's show it first so this is working fine there is no errors at all or you shouldn't have any errors at all okay brilliant so imagine that i need to do almost the same logic but with different pumps so i'm going to copy this part select copy and paste it paste it here i have done the ctrl c ctrl b now if you want to execute this you're going to receive an alarm an error because you just need to have one piece of logic in here so more than one network per block so different subject here so we can add a new network okay Ctrl C, Ctrl V here to make it work, then compile. And we shouldn't have any errors at all. Okay, zero warning, zero errors. This is working fine. So, this is one way to do it. The other one is to copy this, Ctrl C, Ctrl V. Here we have the possibility on the function blocks to add the enable input and output. So enable this. You can have it like this. And in order to link this, what I usually do is to put a boolean in true. And then add them together. Okay. So now if I compile this, it should also work. Okay. So you can divide it or just add it all together using the enable input and output. Okay, this is one way to do it. Um, so this is what I wanted to show you here. As you can see, the first one is the one that doesn't work. Okay, this is a big no. Uh, this is the one way, so you can divide it one here and the other one here or all together using the enable input and output okay so basically that is what i want to show you so make sure that if you receive this message it's because you are doing this and it's not allowed so now let's add for the other features um they're less important but we have it so um we have the possibility to use zoom in zoom out okay for the um for the logic so i don't know if it's control plus no and um, control and the wheel you can zoom in zoom out or you can use the these ones okay and then you have the possibility also to use comments so um, hello there you have this uh training lta ta you have all this and you Put it here okay then combine to have everything working fine okay just a comment and then for example if you want to add something more here you can use this to increase pins okay or this one to decrease the pins in this particular case so let's go to the presentation so check if i forget something you have also enable input and output I already showed you that part increase and decrease so i already showed you the part which is good uh multiple selection I already done that before so shift and select whatever you want uh use zoom in zoom out use the comment use the enable input and output and use the increase decrease so so i just already show you most of the thing i wanted to show for the um for this fpd function block of course it will depend on the logic that you have and how you're going to link everything but i just wanted to show you the basics so don't be afraid if you are used to work with a ladder this is going to be fine it's not that it's, it's not that um complicated if you have for example um logic combination um for example if you're using boolean variables it's just logic in the end so um contact so it's going to be uh bar one bar two 
three, four, five. So if you need to add, for example, your program, gather, uh, la, 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 la. yes, and I'm going to copy this over here. Control C, Control V. So if you want to make this combination. I it. My bad. Be this combination. You just need to know that. I it here. So you just need to know that is a logic at the end. So if this one and this one are together in combination, then it will execute something. Okay, and. In that particular case, what you need to do is to add um, logic uh, and so in this particular case will be number one. So we need to say only one, number one, number two, and it will do this one. Okay. Now, in if this one was like this, okay. And I had bar, let's say, but bar four. I copy, paste it, x bar four, like this. Then it can be this or this to continue with the logic. So it's a or. So if we go here, just move this. So it's or, and I say bar or input here, space like this. So I, in this software, I usually work more with the FPD rather than ladder. So make sure that the, the try to play with this just to get confident. That's all. So the idea of this part of training is to show you. Uh, how to get started with the FPD language and I believe I'll show you most of the basic inputs and outputs how to get the function blocks and everything but at the end it would depend on your logic that you have okay so thank you very much for watching this video and I see you on the next one